Hey everybody, welcome back. Devin, the OG, the original Grognard, back again, sitting down here at the computer, stepping into our playthrough of John Tiller's American Civil War series game, Chickamauga, 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 one of these days I'll figure out the proper way to pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> doing the campaign game, first campaign game, uh, or first battle of the campaign game, Perryville, uh, what is it, October 6th, October 3rd, 1863, I think, something like that. Um, and like I promised you in the last video, I'm not going to bother you with having to go through and watch the, the, the AI turns. I'll just go ahead and give a quick recap. I think that'll speed the videos up a little bit more. Um, and I'll just jump right into it. So here we are starting turn two. Let's go ahead and take a look at the jump map. Not a real big. We do have some rebel forces down here. They've got some horse-drawn cavalry, or uh, artillery. Hmm. Okay, probably a good thing I hit the jump key. Let's look right here. Here's some more artillery set up. Oh, yeah, they're going to be firing off way downfield. But, um, as we expected, uh, the Rebels, they are a-coming. Um, we definitely had them start showing up right along here move down this path here we see a big batch of them approaching the cornfield uh our cannons have done some sporadic harassing fire on them but uh yeah we've got uh there's those are texans all right there's a, there is our cavalry but yeah they are definitely a coming um so i guess we're just going to go ahead and jump into it uh let's see i think everybody is pretty much set uh, since this is mainly a defensive battle, I'm not really going to go on the offensive too much with them. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what we got here. They're pointed out that way. That's what? That's the 33rd Brigade. Let's go ahead and do our artillery form if our artillery can see anybody. No. Starting to push along the south side of this hill. I think I'm going to go ahead and push this artillery forward. Because at least here, they'll get a little bit better shots off rather than being back here. And I think these guys could probably hold the flank pretty well. So let's go ahead. Limber those guys. Move them forward. And then unlimber them. Uh, let's see. Terrell is keeping with the reserve of 194 men. Not much of a reserve. Uh, we got some guns here. We got two guns here. What are those? 12 pound howitzers. We got some targets. Ooh, we got a bunch of pretty targets. We don't like these guys right to our front. So let's go ahead. Oops, hit the wrong button on that one. A couple unknown units. No, 14 men is good. And we got this gun. What's that? It's a 12 pound. Let's go ahead and pour fire. Fire at the other. All right, one thing I did want to show you guys and I didn't do last time is how skirmishers work in Tiller ACW games. Completely different how it works in Tiller's Napoleonics. And Tiller's Napoleonics, if you take a, a line or a light, a light infantry or a line infantry, uh, maybe even a guards, I can't remember, uh, you can send out skirmishers and basically sends out, you know, 60, 70 guys, and you can move them around as their own independent unit. You usually can use them as recon or just to, to slow down the enemy forces. In Tiller's ACW, it works a little bit differently. Now, you can go under, you can click on a unit, go under command, and deploy recall skirmishers. Now, what I want you to take a look at is right down here, the 645 men, the 101st Ohio, they're in line formation. Now, if I deploy skirmishers, whoops, helps if I click on the unit. Now, it takes up some of their movement, and now it has been replaced with skirmishers. Now, the rules manual says that it gives you more information, I'm guessing information about the units that's right in front of them, and increases their defense. By how much, I'm not sure, because to be honest, this is about the third or fourth time I've played an ACW scenario. So we're going to go ahead and put those skirmishes, and it reduces your movement. So let's go ahead, and just because we want to try them out, and we're not really doing much moving, let's go ahead and put out some... Of course, that would trigger an op fire. Put out some skirmishers. 
Uh, let's don't put those skirmishers out. So that's basically the 33rd Brigade. Uh, I should have some guys that can shoot back because we do have line of sight and we do have range. I mean, it's going to be a lot. Oh, already low ammo. One volley fire, my guys are already low on ammo. Uh, let's see. They. I don't think I got the range to reach out here. Nope, I don't. Those guys can't see anybody. So, yeah, it looks like I'm done with the 33rd Brigade. Yeah, low ammo. One shot. It's probably a good thing I got this supply wagon coming up behind. So let's go ahead and move this supply wagon up. All right. Five. Next turn, they'll get up on that hill and that victory location, and we'll be good there. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next brigade information. Let's take those little little bites of it to make the game more manageable. Uh, that's 28th under Starkweather. I always forget that. I like Starkweather. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and put these guys in... So again, let's make sure we click on, let's put skirmishers on and put more skirmishers out. Since I'm not going to be moving them, I'm not really worried about the movement loss having the skirmishers out. And, you know, we need to exp we need to explore and experiment with these guys just to find out what skirmishers do. Same as other rules don't really clearly lay it out. All right, let's see where our artillery can fire. Uh, we've got a few targets we can shoot at. Let's go ahead and do it the closest ones. Uh, again, make sure I select the unit. No, f not facing. All right, well, let's go ahead and tap that. Uh, five men, not bad. We've got two guns here. Let's spread out the love a little bit. Um, these guys... Uh, let's take all six guns. Fifteen men, yep, much better. And those are three-inch rifled guns. Eh, not bad, you know, chipping away at them a little bit as they come up. Now, let's see, we've got these guys right here. Can we hit these guys? Again, make sure I select. Nope. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and turn these guys cover up here. Eight men, not bad. Of course, they're going to catch a bunch of op fire. These guys... Take a look. We don't know what's down here yet. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep them pointed that direction. Okay, and I've got another unit right there. They'll go ahead and right there. Okay, well, I think that's it for the 28th. Uh, so let's move down to the next brigade in line, the 9th Brigade under Harris. So let's go ahead and put those guys in deploy skirmishers. And 500 men, deploy skirmishers. Not going to deploy skirmishers with those guys back there. Let's go ahead and deploy skirmishers. All right, let's take a look at what we can fire at. I'm pretty sure, one, two, three, four. Pretty sure my infantry's out of range. Yep, but let's go ahead and uh, see if the artillery can see anything. Not really, not yet. They can see these guys way out here. Let's give them some love taps and these guys I'm gonna have to turn to see them yeah I don't think I want to turn yet I think I want to keep the guns this way because I have a feeling a bunch of ribs are gonna be coming out of that tree line at some point we'll keep the guns pointed that way as well so that is it for the 9th Brigade so let's look at these guys now these guys caught a little bit of long-range artillery fire I guess they didn't I guess they didn't catch artillery fire. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and deploy skirmishers. Deploy skirmishers. Uh, deploy skirmishers. Not going to deploy skirmishers with the reserve. No need to, really. 
Okay, deploy skirmishers. Don't think they are anything in rifle range, but they definitely have got a target in gun range if we got the angle that we're not facing. Mm, again, I really don't want to turn the guns. I, I need to save them because I know... Well, it's not really saving them. It's just I don't want to take the turn when the rebels get so close and they're starting to come over that hill right there. Uh, and honestly, I think that's about it. Um, everybody else... Yeah, they're fixed. Everybody else is fixed. Let's take a let's take a look at scheduled. Whoops, we've got no reinforcements. So looking at scheduled won't do any good. Releases. Uh, so the Union 34th Brigade under Webster. These guys will release at 2:40, and it is 2:20 now. So they should release next turn. These guys will release next turn. I'm gonna start pushing them up this way to kind of fill this gap in between uh, the Yankee House and Benton Road, uh, the 28th and the 33rd Brigades. Uh, who else have I got? Eventually that'll be released. Uh, Union 11th Division, which is all these guys right here, will be released at 320, so that's still an hour away. And then at 440, 9th Division, which is all these guys, but, you know, by then... You know that's almost by the end of the game, so they are not really going to get into get get into any action or get into any trouble. Uh, so yeah, I think we're pretty much done with everything for this turn. Sometimes on defense, it's a little bit easy to do because you're waiting for the enemy to get to you, which is what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and let the AI do its turn, and we'll be right back. Come a running, the rebels did. They definitely uh, got up all up in my face last time. But let's see. Okay, so we got uh, units that have been released: 34th Brigade, Webster. Those are these blue guys right here. Two units undisrupted out of two units checked. Good. Zero units routed out of one unit checked. Again, surprisingly, with C and D troops. And one unit resupplied out of one unit checked. Is that? And of course, stepping into Union Turn Three. Uh, yep, those guys got resupplied. Now, as you can tell. The biggest action was up here. They, you remember the, I was mentioning the dismounted cavalry. Yeah, they're right up in my face now. In fact, they are so much up into my face. They ran up and then immediately charged my troops in the Yankee house and definitely came out on the worst end of it. They lost about a hundred troops. I lost about 40. So yeah, I mean, there's still a respectable amount of cavalry there, but you know, they're all dismounted and they're all disrupted. And as you can tell, they're just, <laughs> brigades are, are coming. Lots of brigades are coming. Uh, we had uh, around the cornfield. It looks like they reinforced more of the position because uh, there there were three guys there, but now we have this 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 uh, this regiment right here that showed up, and they're moving some other stuff up behind it. Uh, they've got some artillery that are moving up. Looks like they're getting ready to push on the Gibson house. Looks like some Ford elements right there. Uh, fortunately, my artillery has been kind of taking care of them. And then some more regiments that we see moving along the country road. Um, and we got these divisions that look like they're stacking up over here on the country road. And these are these artillery are in position. Hopefully thinking that I'm going to stick my nose out by Squire Bottom, but that's not going to happen. So, yeah, the, the Rebels definitely are pushing hard up at the Yankee House. And so let's go ahead, and I'm surprised. I'm going to have to shift these guys. doesn't look like the Rebs are pushing over around the north of the hilltop. They're coming around the south of the hilltop this time. So let's go ahead and shift these guys here. And let's turn them that way. Let's see, is the gun able to... Nope, gun's not going to be able to see anything. So they're good. I don't think... No, they're not going to be able to see anything. All right, so let's load grape shot and canister and see what kind of nastiness we can do to the with the red calf. Uh, second Georgia, first Kentucky. Ah, that sounds like a good one. Go after it. 16 men could have been better. Let's go ahead and pour some rifle fire. 29 men, I like that. And let's go with two guns. 
Uh, you know, I could actually just look at, let's see, 8th Texas has got 200 men left. Is that a little bit gamey? I don't know if that's a little bit gamey. Two men and disrupted. Okay, we're we're putting some hurt on them. And let's see that cannons put cans push fire into these guys. All right, so that's it for the 33rd brigade. I think that's 33rd. Yep, 33rd. Now 28th. Let's take a look at our cannons first. With them pushing so hard, I think I am going to rotate these guns up to more cover that. Of course, it triggers an op fire. Fatigue. Ah, one fatigue. I can live with that. Uh, moved so I can't fire. Let's go ahead and take these guys. Put some <laughs> rifle fire into them. 16 men. Good. Two men. I like those return casualties. Let's see. We got two guns. Uh... Now we're going to keep this gun pointed this way, but I think I can catch those guys on the other side of the cornfield. Yep. All right. And this one, they'll catch those guys coming up on the Gibson house. And let's put these two guns on those guys. Advancing there as well. More op fire, no effect. We can live with that. Those guys. Put some long range rifle fire. Come on, select the unit. There we go. All right, five minute that range is actually pretty good. One man, yes. Uh, I'm coming off better. They're they're taking a lot more casualties than I am. So let's move down to these guys. And who is that? That's the 9th Brigade. I'll remember these guys one of these days. Let's see. Let's take a look at our cannons. Let's go ahead and put fire on the guns out by the Gibson house. Uh, yep, can't see anything. No, I still want to keep those guns pointed down towards these tr this tree line and this hill. I don't think my riflemen... I've got the range. Oh, they have got the range. One, two, three, four, five. That's a long ass range. Those guys are getting tore up by nibbles and bits. Uh, I don't think I can hit them. Nothing there. And then the 17th Brigade, I'm just going to, again, that's just a waiting game, waiting to see if anybody comes. I mean, if I was ballsy and gutsy, I'd take one of them and detach and run them up there as a quick recon, but eh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take our supply wagon. Run him up so he can start fending, give his supply to that. Now I've got the 10th Brigade that have just been released. So, yeah, we want to rush them up to plug the gap between the Yankee house and the troops uh, defending the 28th. So they're in line. Put them in column. And mount the guns. Or limber the guns, anyways. that Jackson 10th division so he's a divisional commander so he's the divisional commander for all this and who's that that is Major General Rousseau 3rd division all right, so who's 10th division who's 3rd division okay 33rd brigade is 10th division really that the only two formations that are 10th division Third division, third division. All right, well, since he's the 10th division commander, should probably get him up there with the rest of 10th division. Which are basically these two brigades right here. And then third division. 
is the 28th, the 9th, and the 17th. All right, so he's good right there. He's, he's good right there. And the overall uh, core commander, or no, that's Buell. That's the, that's the army commander. Uh, yeah, Army of the Ohio. Is that a court commander? Nope, that's Sheridan under 11th Division. I don't think I have any court commanders out here. It doesn't make any sense that I wouldn't have any court commanders out here. Under McCook. You know what? Let's see. Info view. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no, it's under info. Show organization. So we're under 10th Army of the Ohio, 1st Corps under McCook. All right, so where is McCook? 3rd Division, 10th Division. Hmm. Is McCook not on the battlefield? He may not be. Let's try to see if I can actually find him. Info. Da, 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 da. Sure, find leaders. So, first corps, McCook, Major General McCook, first cavalry, Colonel, thirty-sixth. Yeah. Okay, so that just shows all the. Oh well, I'm gonna try to find him. Not that important. I got uh, two division commanders out there. Oh, oh, there he is. He was hiding beneath the flag. All right, so there's first course commander. At least I know where he is now. All right, so um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. I think we we did enough. I think we've moved everyone we could possibly move, have everybody in position that they want to have positions on, and we're just gonna go ahead and call it here. I don't think I need to go into the next turn. I'll just go ahead and stop it here, and we'll be back soon, eventually, and continuing, and we'll be stepping into turn four. <laughs> Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. See ya.